Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in using Unreal Engine 4. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how you can build a game for iOS using your Mac. So, uh, the majority of the tutorials, or maybe 100% of the tutorials on the internet, and how using uh, a Windows computer to build for iOS, or how use a Windows computer to build for any other thing. So, no one discussing about using Mac. So, anyway, uh, I used to build normally games using Unreal Engine, and it was running smooth but recently I faced some errors so I'm here to, to telling you the correct process of preparing your project so you can avoid having those problems so first thing if you are going to build an or you are going to launch not packaging from here if you're going to launch you need to connect your device before you open the engine so if you can check here I have this is iMac, this is the local computer, and this is my iPhone. It's already connected because I connected my device before opening the project. Second thing, you have two choices. First, you can launch from here and you can package from here. And what's the difference? Launching, it will running the game directly in your device, but it will be building here and you will see in the console. And one good hint, you need to open your output log here in case there is problems, in case you want to check what is going to be built, the packaging process, you can check from here. Uh, but the packaging here, it will give you uh, an IPA, which can, you can install and share easily. In fact, this process also can give you an, an IPA, but it's not our problem right now. So, I was building normally, but what is the problem I faced? When I was uh, building, I got a uh, one error here and this error was telling me exactly they are missing this file so if we go here to the Macintosh HD users shared Unreal Engine and 4.3 engine binaries Mac editor content content Mac OS it was missing this file Unreal Engine 4 editor and I got this file by rebuilding the engine again. But at this time, at this time, you need to rebuild the engine as a development, not debugging or any other thing. Also, after finishing this issue, I got another missing file, which is uh, here, just to show you your Unreal Engine, the engine, binaries, iOS, Unreal Engine 4 game. And this is, comes from you by building the game project which comes with your Xcode. Also building anything is in development scheme. So one more thing here. When you are going to build you need to put next to your game here. So if this is a game project, this is a game project as you can see, you need to come here to your build iOS and then you need to put your provisional profiles here and make sure to name the provisional profile with the game name this is a development provisional profile it holds the game name and the distribution one it should hold this true underscore the game name and then mobile provisioning which is the extension so yeah the game name or this true underscore the game name also in here in your uh info to p list you have to keep in mind if you run this with xcode to make your changes it will not gonna work so here's the reason when you open this p list file with uh with the, the normal application which is xcode you can change here the game bundle id just here you can change it here I mean you can change it to just one time but if you change it here it will give you an error while building because it's not changing everything so you need to open this with any external text tool because you'll find here you can change it twice so here is the first one in line number nine and here is the second one on line number 23 so you need to run this file to be edited in your uh, a text editor not in your Xcode and now everything prepared so I can launch the game or I can build so I prefer to launch directly to my device so I select the device and start launching as you can see it's cooking the content it's checking if there's other contents I have changed it since the last time or no so I can keep looking here to my device and it's keep cooking content
and yeah one more one more difference between launching and packaging if you are going to to packaging you are packaging the whole project so if there is a scene uh, or a level by the end of this level it loads a new level so that's what will happen when you enter level you load a new level and keep moving with this with the typical workflow for your game but if you are using launch it just launches the current level it will not launch all the whole project it just launch, send one level the current one we are running right now so my game have different maps but this map or this level it just holds this sprite so when I run here this one here I see, I see this sprite only so yeah that's that's uh, the core difference between both so it just here launching the game for launch on Muhammad's iPhone So yeah, and the game started now with the image your splash screen should be here and some at some point you will get a successful message in here. Yeah, launch it complete. So yeah, this is a process of uh, preparing uh, your game to be launched, to be tested, to be packaged on iOS device. Uh, it's not the whole process, but this is the major points that, or the core points you need. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new, and good luck with your iOS games. Looking forward to see your games, and see you. Bye.